at the management briefing seminars, there's all kinds of new technology that's being displayed. I'm with Gareth Williams right now from Mitsubishi Electric. They've come up with a brand new interface, an HMI for the Cadillac CTS. Come on inside, we'll show you what it's all about. Gareth, you've come up with this massively big screen inside of the Cadillac CTS. Tell us what's going on here and why you've done this and why you're demonstrating it. Sure, thanks, John. What we're showing here, like you said, is a new HMI concept for uh, vehicles. And what's a little different from a normal uh, production vehicle today is instead of using one box to control this screen, another to control here, and another, a third to control the heads-up display, we're driving everything from a single processor from a single box. So instead of having three different microprocessors, you've got it down to one. The car companies must love that. You're taking That's cost right. out of the system, even though you're adding capability. Cost and complexity, yes, are both reduced. And But we wanted to take it a step further, which is ask, how could this benefit the user? So what we've done is we've uh, made some very simple interactions, some gestures, a swipe left and a swipe right, to add content from this screen over onto the cluster. So you're literally just sort of flicking the information over on from the big screen here onto the cluster. That's right, yep. So we can do that for climate. We can go into uh, our media player, also send the content over just as easily. And what's neat there is if we have a list on the cluster, we're not limited to just using the buttons on the steering wheel, but we can also scroll through, keep our hand on the shifter and select items using this big center stack display. And I love what you're saying there. These are very easy swipes, just little flicks. Or if you've got to get to something more precise on the screen, just rest your wrist on the shifter and you, you can hit it. That's right, yep. And like I said, that's true for all areas. For maps, we can do the exact same thing. And then it's a little hard to see when you're not in the, the driver's seat, but we have the same features for heads-up display. We can swipe up and swipe down to add content and remove remove content from the heads-up display. And now this will work with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's correct, and that's a good thing to bring up. What I'd like to show you is one of the features of having a nice big portrait mode display like this is when you add uh, CarPlay or Android Auto, you don't have to take away the experience, the look and feel from the OEM. So we can have our OEM look and feel here at the top and our consumer electronics connectivity down here at the bottom. And the, the, the automakers have got to love that because they're, of course, worried about Silicon Valley taking over the inside of their car. You're giving them sort of the best of both worlds. That's right. We're giving them the options to do, uh, you know, one or either. And, you know, from the user's standpoint, you still want to have climate control available when, uh, when you're connected to your uh, consumer device. And that's the, the advantage, of course, of having the big screen. That's correct. That's okay, right. Gareth, when might something like this be in the showroom? So we're actively talking to our customers now. Um, we've got a few of them that are really uh, uh, excited about this system. And so, you know, if we kicked off something today, it'd be two or three years before you actually got it in your vehicle. Okay, so here we are, folks, looking at two to three years into the future of some of the latest HMI technology that will be coming into cars. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. Working together, scientists and racing technicians study the impact of new lightweight materials. We look back and learn, so we understand a little better what's on the road ahead. This is the human element at work, Dow.